Today's topic is insomnia. Insomnia is difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep, even when a person has a chance to do so. People with insomnia can feel dissatisfied with their sleep and usually experience one or more of the following symptoms. Fatigue, low energy, difficulty in concentrating, mood disturbances, and decreased performance in work or at school. Causes. Insomnia can be caused by physical and psychological factors. There is sometimes an underlying medical condition that causes chronic insomnia. While transient insomnia may be due to a recent event or occurrence. Disruptions in circadian rhythm. Jet lag. Job shift changes. High altitudes. Environmental noise. Extreme heat or cold. Psychological issues, bipolar disorder, depression, anxiety disorders, or psychotic disorders, medical conditions, chronic pain, chronic fatigue syndrome, congestive heart failure, angina, acid reflux disease, GERD, chronic obstruction pulmonary disease, asthma, sleep apnea, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's diseases, hyperthyroidism, arthritis, brain lesions, tumors, stroke, hormones, estrogen, hormone shifts during menstruation, other factors, sleeping next to a snoring partner, parasites, genetic conditions, overactive mind, pregnancy, signs and symptoms. Insomnia itself may be a symptom of an underlying medical condition. However, there are many signs and symptoms that are associated with insomnia. Difficulty falling asleep at night, waking during the night, waking earlier than desired, still feeling tired after a night's sleep, daytime fatigue or sleepiness, irritability, depression, or anxiety, poor concentration and focus, being uncoordinated, an increase in error or accidents, tension headaches, feels like a tight band around the head, difficulty socializing, gastrointestinal symptoms, worrying about sleeping, diagnosis, your doctor will ask questions about your medical conditions, social environment, psychological or emotional conditions, sleep history. This will provide information that can help find underlying causes of sleep problems. You might be asked to keep a sleep log, recording when you fall asleep, note whether you wake up repeatedly, report what time you wake up each day. Treatment of insomnia. There are both pharmaceutical and non-pharmaceutical treatments for insomnia. Sleep hygiene training may be recommended. Sometimes behaviors that interfere with sleep are causing insomnia. Sleep hygiene training can help you change some of these disruptive behaviors, such as avoiding caffeinated beverages near bedtime, avoiding exercise near bedtime, minimizing time spent on your bed when you're not specifically intending to fall asleep, such as watching TV or surfing the web on your cell phone. Sometimes medications are used to treat insomnia. An example of an over-the-counter medication that can be used for sleep is an antihistamine. Medications like this have side effects, so it's important to talk to a doctor before starting yourself on an over-the-counter medication for insomnia. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to like and share the video and hit the subscribe button to always stay on top of our new videos.